Happy Friday, everybody. A to Z Sports. I am Austin Stanley. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Jack Gentry and I reacted to Brian Baldinger of NFL Network saying the Titans should and could use quarterback Malik Willis in a special package during his rookie year. Would that help the Titans or would that just make them even more predictable? I think that's an interesting conversation that Jack and I had recently. Today it's presented by Wilson County Hyundai. It's tough to buy a car right now. It really is. But you have to go somewhere you can trust. Payne Bone and his team in Lebanon. We've been working with them for several years now. Uh, WilsonCountyHyundai.com to check out their inventory or just go see them. I-40 East, exit 236. Easy, beautiful drive to Lebanon to see Wilson County Hyundai and WilsonCountyHyundai.com. So we're here to talk about Malik Willis's package uh, or the special package that the Titans could use uh, for Malik Willis. Uh, in you, into out of the gate, Jack. I, I, Whoa, I just, yeah. I had to. Like, I couldn't. <laughs> go any further without doing that because honestly <laughs> uh the youtube thumbnail made me think of that uh but anyway uh but so malik willis uh the third round pick for the titans dropping probably 60 spots or so from end of the first round to 86th overall we see him a lot uh in otas and mini camp and now we're getting ready for training camp and so uh, Brian Baldinger on NFL Network's Total Access last night, he was asked a question about basically you know, who is a player that he's excited to see in training camp coming up next month because the Titans players report back July 26th. We are now less than a month away from that first practice that we'll learn more about the schedule. But here's what Brian Baldinger said when asked the question again, who is a player he's looking forward to seeing in training camp? Are you for or against the Titans using Malik Willis in a special package this season? After after hearing what Baldinger said, after looking at what the chat's saying, where do you stand on this thing? I, I'm against it, Jack. Um, I don't think it makes sense because, because of what I saw in OTAs and minicamps. I watched all but one of the media available practices. Uh, I did. I missed the second day of rookie minicamp. So I saw all of Malik Willis's reps and throws and practices uh, with the veterans before they broke for summer break. And now I, I think Malik Willis is improving. I, again, the things that I've talked about with Malik Willis is that I love his attitude his the way he approaches practice with an urgency and a willingness to learn and get better. He's made mistakes. He's taken coaching. He has improved. And I think he's working on a lot of different things. But like when it comes to special packages, I think like even when Marcus Mariota in that 2019 season, and Jack, you brought this up pre-show, that they sparingly used. Marcus Mariota on the field after Tannehill got that job from him. And that wasn't until late in the year. Marcus needed to kind of heal mentally and physically to be able to use in some situations. But I just don't think it helps the Titans. I think what the Titans are when they're at their best is a play action pass, take shots down the field type of offense. And Malik Willis in a special package takes away from that. So here's here's where there are concerns with this idea. We saw Trey Lance with the 49ers and Justin Fields with the Chicago Bears last year kind of get introduced with these special packages. Now you can argue that Justin Fields was set up to fail by head coach Matt Nagy, who never really let him, you know, off a off of a leash. And Trey Lance in, in San Fran, it, 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 he kind of had the same issue where, you know, it, he was ready to go as a runner, but he has work to do as a passer. And we'll see if he can even win the job out there this offseason. But I am for this idea. I'm I'm with Joni. Johnny or Joni, I don't know how you say this, later in the season if he's ready, is kind of where I stand on this. Because, look, you've got an early bye week, week six. You don't have to dress him for week the, six or is it week seven? Is it week week seven? I think it may be week seven. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, let me let yeah, me pull the schedule. Week seven. Minute. But um, so so you got an early bye week, right. right? And he doesn't even have to dress for the, those first few games. After the bye week, I want to see Malik Willis on the sidelines in uniform. Okay, it's a it's baby steps. We're not going to go week one have Malik Willis run a package out there, right? 
we, we're going to get him ready to dress. We're going to learn, you know, teach him how to prepare for these games. You know, learn under Ryan Tannehill how to operate on game days, uh, how to run a huddle, all this stuff, how to, how to take a snap from under center because he never yeah. did that in college. So he's got a long way to go. But I think after that bye week, you start dressing him out. Okay, once you start dressing him out, once he gets a good feel, I'm talking week 15 and beyond. Then you can maybe do something with him. Because, look, what did we get on to Todd Downing for all last season and, and all this offseason? Predictability. Being, being too predictable, being bland, being boring with his play calling. What does Malik Willis jump in there and do? Completely mixes it up. Uh, I, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. You, you bring in Robert Woods, who in Los Angeles – had tons of success coming around on end rounds. So if you put Tannehill out wide, Malik Willis in the backfield, have Robert Woods on the right side, you can bring Robert Woods around. Malik Willis have the option to give him the ball. Tannehill comes around, you can run a double reverse pass. Maybe Malik Willis runs down the sideline as a receiver like uh, uh, like like Brady did um, and Nick Foles did on, on the Philly special. Um, you know, there, There's a lot of options you could run, but I don't think we should say no, no to Malik Willis. No to seeing him on the field in any way. Because we, whether we like it or not, Tannehill's not going to be around for much longer. I, unless he wins a Super Bowl, even if he wins a Super Bowl, I, I don't really see Tannehill sticking around a whole lot longer, right? Because he's become expensive. He's uh, you know struggled in the playoffs. There's a lot of there's a lot of concerns with him. I just want to see Malik. I want to see a taste I, of Malik Willis later this season. I, and if it comes in a special package, that's cool with me. 